A wise man once said, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Unfortunately, he didn't cite his sources. Because let's be honest, words do hurt people. A lot. Mentally. Emotionally. Sometimes. For life. Not me though. You can say any word to me. Remember that time you waxed your head and it grew back in patches? Too far, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so if the second half of the saying is clearly a lie, what if the first part is two? Today, in the name of science, I'm putting the ancient phrase to the test, literally. I'll find out if sticks and stones can really break bones, and more importantly, how big of a stick or stone would you actually need? And as always, never try anything seen in this video. Seriously, one time, me and a few of my cousins were throwing rocks at each other, and I have a few less cousins now. Anyways. Science. As you can see, we've gathered a large selection of sticks and stones. Now, I think it's important to define what a stick is. Not a branch, not a tree. Not a branch, not a tree, not a two by four. It's a stick, like what you're holding right now. This is my favorite stick. It's my walking stick. That's a great stick. Where's your caveman outfit? I didn't feel like I needed to wear it, really. I'm the science guy. You're the Neanderthal. You saying you can't catch a leopard? No, I'm saying you're frontal lobe is underdeveloped. I didn't realize we were being mentally mean today. <laughs> so we were saying words can't hurt, huh? <laughs> For this experiment, we're starting very small, something that surely will not break a bone. These little old things. Could break your finger, maybe. If you hit hard enough. You did break my finger yeah. a while ago with a ruler. Yeah, that was, that was an accident. I didn't know until months later when the bone was moving around on my finger. Anyway, small sticks. I just think they're gonna be painful, so let's hit me in the back with them. Yeah. Okay, upper back please, Mark. Very small stick. What percentage would you like? Just go for it, all of it. Ooh! Broke the stick? How'd, how'd that feel? Didn't break bone, but broke my soul. Clean hit, straight across. <sighs> what we like to see. Yeah, that's... That's like perfectly symmetrical. It's like a parallel line. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Did it boggle your caveman head, your Neanderthal head with your little frontal lobe? I don't think about much ex besides accuracy when I'm doing this. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. think about accuracy? Got no other words. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect video for us to be like very intentionally mean, you know, since the other half of the saying is, words will never hurt me. You guys hear something? I'm not even gonna play into that. <laughs> that is a trap. I hear some noise. It's like this little chirping. Oh, Houston, when'd you get there? Hold on, did someone say something? What are we, in first grade? <laughs> 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 Onto the next stick. Shorter, a little bit thicker. I don't even know what kind of wood that is. I would say it's uh, probably like a mahogany. Cherry. Cherry's a good guess. Same deal in the back, 100%. This one's less, less flimsy. So I think, it, I, I think it's gonna be less painful. Ooh. That was correct. Much better. It felt more painful to me. I think I didn't graze your head, right? No. Okay, good. No, no. I felt like it was pretty close. I posted the short the other day though, where you hit me in the head with the shambok after I got out of the ice bath. Mm -hmm. Gets me every time. It's a good laugh. Because <laughs> I don't feel any of it. You just bonk me in the neck. But you did a good job today. You didn't hit me in the neck or head. So, uh, We're done with your back? Got a lot of sticks there. We don't gotta use them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thorn stick to the back, full power. I just figured this would be a good idea because I think it's a weaker wood. At least when I was cutting it down, it seemed pretty weak, but it has thorns on it, so. You just wanna bleed? I mean, I don't wanna bleed, but I'm not opposed to bleeding. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, lost a little grip. I think that deserves a like, right? I've been like tanking the last two. Got a little speculoles. Ooh, they're in you. Yeah, you got. Okay, how about we make a deal? I'll get the, a whippier one. If okay. I don't make a noise on that one, everyone has to like the video. How about we face you towards the camera and really get a oh, close, wow. close on on the face? On the face. Mm -hmm. that's, but, where, that's where the money maker is. Ooh, okay. Get, get, get. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> Longer stick, has more whip. From what we've learned so far, this seems to be more painful. It's all you. I don't know what you're feeling. Well, I'll hit you with two sticks later, like a stubby one and a longer one. And then or maybe a stick and a rock. Maybe two long, two sticks and a rock. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There's some stuff in your back. Um, yeah, we should be done with the spines. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's like a cactus 
coming all back. You you chose those. You didn't have to pick those up, but you did. It's a stick. It's it's a lethal stick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I did it. Give me it. Give me the credit. I'll give you. I'll Thank give you. you. I'll give Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on to thicker sticks. See if they're breakable or not. Yeah. Can you actually pick these out? No, real quick. <laughs> Next stick, different kind of wood. It's very hard. Found this in the yard. No, no. bark on it. This is, has to be one of your lowest production uh, videos, really. You know, I was thinking about this. It's really, we've done though. like all these creative ways to hurt me. You know, we spent How? thousands of dollars on stuff. Like, thousands. How have we free. never done what Mother Nature gives us? So do we get a bonus this video? Yeah, the, the, the supply, supply budget go to the workers. It's going to the new sets, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Start a union. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! It look cool. Did it feel cool? Thank God I had a cup on. It flung to the inside of my leg. Quite the deflection. We broke it. You had such a fresh canvas. Had. Had. We're doing sandblaster next week. You got a sandblaster? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> well, that was a one-time use. Good thing it's free. Wait, hold on. What if you hit me with this? It's like a baton. <laughs> okay, moving on. Why did you hit me that hard? I thought that was softer. <laughs> you knew it was a hard wood. The glove. The glove <laughs> I gotta take the glove off. God damn. <laughs> Thicker stick. A little like, bit longer. Looks like a birch. Yeah, I'd call it a birch. I know a birch when I taste it. Anyways, I'm thinking since this is a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, 50% whack to the leg. Oh, should've put a knee pad on. You mother Should've put a knee pad you on. You dumb You should've put <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you someday. Someday I'll murder you. And then you can't do this. <laughs> Come get me. Uh, I wish I could run. Oh, right in the damn knee. Was... Right in the damn knee. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what? <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> I've never had such a bad shot. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't so funny, I'd be bad. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to go grab some knee pads for the next few. I regret putting you in the caveman costume. <laughs> yeah, it made you stupider. <laughs> More stupid. More. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the biggest stick of the collection. Basically a branch. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a branch? This is probably, you know, the farthest we could go in terms of uh, what makes a stick. Oh, this is a good handle right here. It's it's like a battle mace. I feel like, you know, if I was 5,000 years ago, I would get this stick and beam someone on the head with it. Is this how they had wars with sticks and stones? Sticks and stones. <laughs> 50% on that one. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit harder to swing. Let's see. Yeah, I like that angle better. Hell of a slap. That one hit a lot deeper. Yeah, hell. That hit a lot deeper. Well, you're done with sticks, at least. Are you looking forward to stones? Well, I saved one leg for stones. That's so. all you need. <laughs> <laughs> I would say probably a bone breaker on this one. I don't think any other stick would break the bone. To be fair, you're not an average human, and someone without much muscle on their leg might. That's fair. Break That's fair as well. Yeah. That conversation has been put forward of the less lethal stuff. Mm -hmm. My demonstration of being shot by those is probably not your average result. So should we try a stick on me? Yeah. We get a stick on, done on you now because we got to do stones. Yeah. Right? Might as well. I'll hit you with this one. All right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> you pick your stick. Oh, you boy. pick your stick. This is the stick Mark picked. I'm thinking 50%. 58. 58, I can't, I can't really fine tune that much. Do you not have a front lobe? Okay, 58. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, I hit your... You opened my gas. I mean, it was a, it was a target, it was a target. That was an, a scar tissue, so that makes sense why that opened. I gotta wait another three weeks. <laughs> I think you ble uh, bled worse than me so far today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could break your bones with this. No. Maybe if I, I don't even know, even if I hit you in the ribs, stomach, I don't think I could do it. This, the stick would break first. I'll need the giant war hammer log to do it, but I don't really feel like that's a stick anymore. What do people in the desert do to fight? They probably just died. <laughs> and throw sand. Let's move on to stones. <laughs> <laughs> on to stones. We're gonna start small and work our way up. We found these at the beach today. Okay, you found those. I found this in my yard. 
I think we start with your two, then we hit me with these, and then we got something that's almost nearing boulder territory. When does a stone become a boulder? Uh, when it kills you. Does it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Riot shield, knee pads, toss them into me as hard as you can. Nothing. Yeah. That was yeah, that light work. Felt like it skipped on me. Okay, well, we, we can't tell what happened. No, not at all. <laughs> Let's move up to this stone. Literal perfect <laughs> stone. It was very oval. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> Amy was mad when I took this. <laughs> okay, not too bad actually. Unfazed. Mini school will upgrade. I feel like everything after this gets a lot bigger. It does. It's gonna get exponentially worse. So, it's a good tester. Oh, nice. Okay, all right. If you took down the rib, dare I say, that might crack one. Probably more in the bruise territory. It's not uh, large enough, I think, to actually like break a bone. Let's move to something that's definitely way more dangerous. That's what we like to do. We're moving on to this stone. I would say it's about three times the mass of the previous one. Previous one, current stone. Once again, full power throw. Let's see how we feel. Mm, yes. That sounded solid. Much worse. Yeah, that's much worse. Does it take away the pain from your knee? I forgot about the pain on my knee for a while. That is much worse. That lingers way longer. Oh! <laughs> I'm poking to figure out where you just threw. I'm kind of impressed by that the bruise I have right here. Quit the collection. Let's switch up legs. Three more stones. You can handle it. You're, a tough, so? you're a tough guy. Stones won't break my bones. The chains and whips might excite you. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Next stone. Toss a 75 into my leg. This might be where I'm like, that's a bone breaker. Only, I feel like when you fall, that's when it gets close. It takes a lot to make That is fall. a very poor, <laughs> it does. And that is a very poor judgment call. Cause that is like the point of, I may be actually hurt. We don't that same level we don't for you to. though, is bad. It is. <laughs> 75, let's see what happens. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? He hit you in the shin, didn't it? Laying on my toe. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely hurts worse. Yeah. Something about you getting hurt when you try to hurt me really relieves the pain. Down. I'll, I'll try to deflect him more back towards me. Yeah. <laughs> That's very helpful. <laughs> All right, let's go near Boulder territory. Last one. You look excited. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you ever wonder what people in 5,000 years, if they're gonna dress like us and recreate our weapons? I hope no one ever has to recreate any of this again. Well, That's the point, right? Some people gotta make a living. I already made the living. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more to make. I don't know. This is way too heavy, way too large. I'm a little bit scared. We won't break anything. Time to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's gonna underhand it at 75% power. I feel like we're in like uncharted territory. We don't really know what's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna break my femur. So, I'm just throwing a bowling ball, eight pound bowling ball at your leg, basically. Is that a little low? You gotta wear knee pads. That was a little low, right? Yeah, you can feel the weight. <laughs> you can feel the weight. Definitely a bone breaker if uh, it hit anywhere else than my leg. Do a full power. Well, you're the boss. I used to, I do bowl. You used to? <laughs> it's been a yeah, few like months. Yeah, you're like you're retired. <laughs> okay, safety advisor? Yes. Any comments? Get a strike. That's what I like to hear. Oh! <laughs> that was that a bad. That was a strike. That looked bad. He found the line. When you're grabbing the grass, that's not a good sign. He found the line. <laughs> yeah, that must look scuffs. Yeah, that might be, that's up there. Yeah, that's up that's... there on a battle one. Uh-huh. Well, your turn, Mark. Yep. <laughs> sure is. I don't trust your throwing. Me either. <laughs> okay, Mark's turn. I'm just gonna throw it. No redos. <laughs> <laughs> Hit knee pad a little bit. <laughs> uh, you, you got me. Yeah. I felt uh, it. I know. It was like <sighs> upper upper pad. I deserved it right there. Good thing you throw like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> I do throw like a girl. I have a terrible throw. Mark, how do you feel about sticks and stones? Do they break bones? They wouldn't break ear bones, but they would break a person who looks like a stick. I think it's a big question mark, even after this experiment. It depends on the size of the stick and or stone, where they get hit. There's so many variables. I'll go over this all in a few days and show the damage. I have some thoughts on this though. 
Try it at home. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> See you in a couple days. <laughs> it's time for the Sticks and Stones data review. Two days post experiment, I had bruising and scabbing across a lot of my back and much worse damage on my right leg, especially my knee. Thanks for that one, Mark. Also, the slingshot scar on my left leg turned deep purple after the final stone hit. Bending both of my knees hurt for about a day due to swelling and deeper tissue trauma, but improved greatly after 24 hours. As for Mark's damage, just a light bruise and a cut on an old scar. So can sticks and stones break bones? Technically yes, but not how the old saying implies. Real sticks snap or glance off before they can break a bone. It's only when they're basically logs, which are thick and heavy, that there is real danger. As for stones, unless you're throwing a 10 inch boulder at ribs or a face, handheld stones don't pack enough mass or velocity to break bones. So does the old saying hold up? Not really. But hey, that's my conclusion based on some first-hand data. But I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. And if you want even more behind the scenes madness, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are in the description. And if you like this video, you'll love the time I jumped in a frozen swamp and gave myself hypothermia. I really became a survival expert in that video. Except didn't do that good at surviving. So maybe not an expert.